basically done with the furring strips up in the ceiling. Then I just gotta finish the walls and then we can start putting drywall up. I have no idea. I have no idea. And to be totally honest, it's way too flippin' late to think about it, so. Time to sleep. See us tomorrow. What a beautiful morning. Oh, look at this. This is cool. I've had visitors. See the track? I don't know what it is, but it's something. Some sort of animal. Mouse, probably. Something like that. You are doing an amazing job. Welcome to your life house and Saturday. It's amazing. The sun is shining. It's daylight. I'm never here during daylight other than Saturdays. And I, I gotta say, I, I'm really looking forward to spending days out here. I gotta say, summers are the nicest over here, but you know, the winter's okay too, except it's so dark. Gosh. I'm gonna do some furring strips up, up upstairs on the third floor. Third floor. I'm not gonna put the drywall up until a while from now, but I gotta get it ready for electrician and whatever. So, and um, so I gotta tell you, this, I'm encouraged. It's 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 so all right. So t making videos takes forever. It takes a lot of time. But then days like yesterday, when I talked to one of you viewers, it, it's so weird and crazy to think that somebody actually finds this stuff entertaining and amusing and interesting. So, those moments when I consider not making these videos and instead just building the house or doing other things, I mean, I, I could do other things, I'm encouraged to continue making these videos. And hopefully they will help someone as they have helped you. And if, if you have any questions, don't be afraid to call. Or, well, not call because you don't have my number, but you, you can send me a message on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, you name it. You can always get in touch with me somehow. So, um, yeah, super cool stuff. And, and I hope you get off to a great start with your house. Let's, let's get this day started, shall we? I've been rambling on too long already. That should be enough. Let's get up there, huh? inches on every wall all the way around the house on the inside and the outside you have to sink these little screws in they're like two inches and they're holding 
these modules together. See, here's a joint, here's a joint, and there's this little piece of plywood behind it that holds the modules together. It's a lot of, uh, a lot of drilling, a lot of, a lot of screws. But the end product is amazing. You're wondering why I'm not using a ribbon-fed Makita or something like that. I don't like it. I'd much rather use a regular drill. Just, I mean, these are Torx, right? They're T20. I'd much rather do that than, than doing the Phillips head crap. Excuse my French, but it's crap. I just don't like it. Just don't like it. So, sorry Makita. Not a fan of your belt-fed thing. Sorry. But Torx, man, Torx, that is awesome. See, here's the deal. I just, I put it in, and now, from here on out, I basically have no pressure on it. At all. I mean, I'm just, just barely holding it on. Not pushing at all. I'm just holding it into the, the head. That's all it takes. It doesn't slip out. It doesn't need any constant pressure to hold it in there. It, it's, it's just totally superior to Phillips. Somebody come up with a belt fed thing with a Torx head. You'll make millions. Well, that was the end of the north wall. So all the uh, screws are in the proper places and this whole wall is totally secured. On to furring strips. Well, isn't that fancy? The whole thing's done. I'm all furred out. It's time to start looking at the ventilation. So the ventilation system of this house, oh my gosh, there's a lot of parts. And I'm gonna put this together myself? Really? <laughs> Really? Okay. Okay. And this is just box number one. There's the ventilation unit itself. And then there's two more boxes back here. Uh, I imagine some of that is just duct, but this brings me flashbacks to the garage project. That was an equally challenging project, I think. Well, maybe not as. Nah, maybe it was worse. Because, I mean, that table was full of garage, par garage door parts. Just look at this little tidbit from the garage door video. Crazy, right? I know. Well, <laughs> this is a whole box full of stuff. I'm not sure which is worse. <laughs> Something tells me I need to figure out what's what. I wonder if this is actually considered an unboxing. Because really that's what I'm doing. <laughs> um, I have a little bit of parts. I mean they're all the same, so it's not like it's that confusing, but 
It just looks overwhelming. I think my dad's going to freak when he comes in here and sees this. <laughs> um, I'm not sure which is which, but there's two different style vents and there's two different sizes. I'm guessing the two big ones are for the living room and the two little ones are, I don't know. I don't even know what's, what's, what's fresh air and what's not. I'm really not sure. I guess I'm going to find out. So there's some T's with different ins and outs, some 90's, some 45's, yeah. Those are probably uh, the ones that are going to be joining the spiro ducts together. All my ventilation system will have spiro ducts. Solid, solid uh, wall ducts. So no flex stuff at all. It's all solid ducts. So that's, I think that is a huge plus. And there's obviously two different sizes down here. A big one and, and a small one. That's always so fun. Yep, I'm a big child, I know. All right, on to box number two. That looks like it's upside down, but it's not. So there's a few things missing. I know of at least one thing that's missing, so I'm hoping that's in that box right there. The, the box that's on the outside of the wall where the fresh air goes in and the dirty air is exhausted. So that, I know that's here somewhere. It's gotta be in that box. That is all spiral. That box is full of spirals. I think I'm going to have to uh, look at the plan. Because the ventilation company engineered the whole thing. They made, you know, the project drawings and stuff like that. And we agreed on um, where to run the trunks and, you know, all that. So I have a drawing somewhere. So it's a balanced ventilation system. It's not like a, a furnace with hot air ducts. It's, it's not like that. It's different. But I, I guess a similar idea. All right, so I figured out that those are exhaust and those are fresh air. Um, and then I got this stuff is for the insulated ducts that go outside. And then those are uh, mufflers. They muffle the sound, apparently. And then these are just spiro ducts, just like the ones back there. Those are also spiro ducts. And this is the unit. So, you know, extract air. Exhaust air, fresh air, and more supply air. And then a bunch of connectors, cooker hood. I'm not going to hook that up to my cooker hood, but, you know. A bunch of instructions. And uh, those are probably mounting rails. Yep. Well, I classify this as a puzzle for adults. Definitely. But it'll be a lot of fun putting this together. See, all right. Your life on life. Once in a while in life, you uh, come across things that you don't know how to do. You have two options. Throw your hands in the air and say, oh, I don't know how to do this. Or, well, I've never done this before, so I'm sure I'll be able to do this. This will be fun. That's the other option. I choose the second option always. Because, you know. Throwing your hands up in the air and saying, hey, I don't know how to do this. Nothing gets done. Nothing. Or you have to call somebody and go broke. So, I, I always try to do it myself. I'm done with Saturday. I've been, uh, you know, putzing around down here off camera, so. Um, not everything is really made for YouTube. Nobody wants to see me roaming around in boxes. It's not exactly exciting. Thanks for watching. Thanks for following my journey. It's, it's still just amazing to me that this is exciting and interesting and entertaining for people. But hey, if, if that's you, thank you. Ask me questions. Leave some comments. 
I, I answer every single one. I appreciate questions and comments and suggestions and concerns. And All right. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.